suppose something that could be said about a lot of my work is it's the recreation of traditional objects in a new way, in a sort of contemporary take on them, um, which is also influenced by my training as a silversmith and the whole practice of silversmithing and the whole heritage that goes with it. Um, so it's not just the product, it's also the material and the technical methods behind it as well. I think for me it's important to take the good parts of traditional, perhaps a recognisable aspect and then to create something new with just a touch of it which is perhaps surprising or which is taking the traditional aspect and using it in a new way. Um, so take some of my silver plates while I was using the, what would be described as really traditional patterns, cutlery stamp patterns using them on a new object, so on quite minimal flat plates. So it's just taking that one little element that you need and then transferring it into your piece. I guess I go through a process of some experimentation, of um, exploring the materials and the idea behind an object, to say me what it's used for or what people's ideas about it are, um, especially with the silverware. And then again in the same way, quite a lot of the traditional processes I use, as in the actual making processes, I like to play around with those as well and perhaps use them in a less traditional way, in a slightly unconventional way, to create something new. children's building blocks and then just collaged them together, took photos of them and collaged them together with the tops of traditional candlesticks and when I showed them to people they sort of thought, you're going to make what? And then when they see the finished product it all makes sense and it always makes sense to me all the way through but it can be, it can be quite a jump <laughs> sometimes. Let's keep rolling. I think it's really good. <laughs> <laughs>